why NEM? And what was the main difference with NMBA? Should I choose to ask? Uh, I just simply say, if you're looking for, to work in a technology company, and if you're looking to take leverage of what you've learned in engineering and what you have gained through your engineering experience, pick up an MEM. And if you're looking to maybe go in the financial sector or something of that sort, go for an MBA. Yeah, uh, building on the same, um, I choose the MEM because um, it's deeply start from the creation from the creation of something that's what engineers do so and then s starting from there uh, it puts the management principle to to do it better actually uh, this program has uh, three concentrations that are focusing in in this creation uh, analytics uh, entrepreneurship and project management so this is um, was one of the reasons that really differentiate from the MBA. The main reason I chose to come to MEM was because I, I thought I can just differentiate, uh, differentiate myself to others t rather than taking MBA since I had engineering background. So the second question I would ask is why Northwestern University compared to all the other great MEM programs that are already out there? Why Northwestern? So I chose Northwestern over the other MEMPC consortium universities for the simple reason that we are uniquely distinct in our admission criteria. Uh, we are not we are not we are not meant for we are not a program for only for freshers. Uh, I, I did go over the websites of Dartmouth and Stanford and 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 Duke, and they probably the the class profile had a typical average age of 24 to 25 years. And I I personally relate myself to a mid-level career person where I worked for six years in industry before I came from full-time study. So I wanted to take leverage of uh, my experience and try and see um, potential, you know, my peer mates have, as having the same experience as mine or even more than me. And here at MEM and Northwestern, we typically have an industry average experience of 10 years, which is pretty significant and really helps us to understand a lot of things and learn from their experience in the class. Yeah, uh, in my case, uh, Northwestern University makes sense, and actually this engineering school makes sense because of the entrepreneurial uh, perspective and focus that, that it's having. Actually, this uh, department have an, uh, an innovation and entrepreneurment center called the Farley, uh, which is, uh, is kind of our neighbor of the MEM. And, and we can take advantage of these classes and uh, this faculty, these people. So, um, yeah, this is why this uh, this school really makes sense for me, at least. The main reason I chose Northwestern is because I um, I look at the mainly the courses that are um, available when I come to course, and this makes sense to me. And also, I talk with some friends who already have done this MEM course at Northwestern. Uh, so I, I didn't really have a good reason to choose another school uh, when I look at the uh, courses that have been provided in the internet. Could you guys say a few words about the networking opportunities here at Northwestern and what, what doors have opened for you because of MEM and because of Northwestern? Um, yeah, I uniquely believe that uh, uh, Northwestern is very uh, positioned in a way that it is right in the heart of, uh, right in very close proximity to the greatest city of the United States in Chicago. Um, typically in our class, uh, we have students coming from six to ten years of experience. They work in different verticals of industry and they've served in different capacities as an engineers. We do happen to crisscross and, and, and discuss things both within the class and after class. That really helps us to network a lot more with people we would have been exposed to otherwise. Um, as well, Northwestern, the faculty for, for, the, for our MEM program typically is not uh, just a full-time faculty. They're all adjunct faculties, most of them, and they have experience from finance to strategy to operations. Um, they, can, they, they have been uniquely uh, putting us across people in industry, and we, we, really could take, we, can, we can really take leverage of that experience as well, being at them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially the um, the full time program has the quality of uh, to get you involved with people from many different nationalities. Uh, that so you, I think I have so far created a good global network with people from Pakistan, India, China, and 
This is uh, s something uh, really important and, and really unique of the full-time program. Um, also, uh, in my case, that I came from South America, uh, I have had the opportunity of uh, change ideas and, and build a network with uh, engineers from majors that uh, really doesn't exist even in my country, like aerospace, uh, packaging, uh, etc. So uh, the opportunities to, to make networks is, is, uh, are very real and, and for me have been very useful. I also have very same impression with the other two guys over here um, on MEM, on also Northwestern. I made a lot of um, um, friends and I, I talk with a lot of guys from different backgrounds, different countries. Um, I think they're all willing to talk with you and they're all willing to uh, make a conversation even further. I think that makes what uh, maybe Northwestern different. And I, I look at some other websites um, that are under the resources that Northwestern provide, and they have a pretty good uh, wide uh, variety of uh, resources that we can approach to. So I think there's a lot of opportunity. It's just a matter of uh, you attend the, uh, the event and you try to find the event. I know some of you are you have families, some of you are single. Could you maybe describe the transition from your home country to Chicago and to Evanston? Uh, from your perspective? Yeah, actually for me the, this year uh, abroad studying uh, uh, has been uh, a nice experience. Um, we both, me and my wife, uh, were usually very busy guys, um, um, getting very late to home. So this year has uh, this double effect to, to help us to, to build the, the family itself with more time for us and, and also uh, taking advantage of all the, the knowledge that we both are having. My wife is also in a Northwestern program. Um, also the, the life here, uh, and, and I will go back to the, um, to the full-time program, uh, you can take advantage of, of all the facilities of the Northwestern University, probably more than the part-timers. Uh, actually, we, this university has a nice sports center, nice courts, uh, a beautiful swimming pool. Um, also, I have started some piano lessons. So you can actually take advantage of uh, a lot of the things that this university uh, has. So I may be a little bit different in a way that I, I'm from a um, different country, but I, I, I've been in the U.S. for almost eight, nine years now. Um, but still, Evanston is is the location is very good in a way that there's good transportation that you can go downtown Chicago, and even not downtown Chicago, but you can pretty much go anywhere else. And even downtown Evanston is pretty good place to just um, hang around with friends. Uh, there are a few uh, nice restaurants out here, and the campus itself is pretty good. They have um, everything we need to do inside the campus. So. Um, being a single, I, I think I can do most of the stuff I want, just hang around, um, you know, go to school. Other than that, um, I'm having much fun, yeah. So to answer a few questions about, uh, a lot of people are apprehensive before they come down to a new country, specifically related to the location, because it's a big commitment. You're going to be staying in a campus for a year, or maybe it could be, could be a year and a half for someone. Um, Evanston is pretty pretty unique in its way. It's, it's, a, it's a small little cute town. Would really would uh, would really suit couples who are trying to kind of relocate from a different city. Um, it's it's very uniquely positioned, very right in the right and close to where Chicago is, and that's the place to be at. I mean, they, they got museums, theaters, and and everything happening in Chicago. You can, you pretty much have time for yourself um, to catch around with family activities and stuff. So, and, and itself, um, Northwestern University is having uh, great opportunities in terms of networking with people and you have events right from family events to social events to events happening around every week. Uh, and you just be, you should have, just have to be social enough to, to hang around with people, it's not a problem at all, yeah. Yes, I, I want to add uh, just one more thing, uh, that uh, Chicago is becoming a very cool city for professional activities. Uh, I came from the analytic background and uh, most of the brands, more of the software factories uh, 
have are developing uh, workshops, uh, events uh, here. So I have had the opportunity to attend uh, most of them, some free events or other uh, really cheap for students. Uh, so I, I feel in, in the cutting edge uh, of the technology, I'm assisting these events, I'm asking. I have had a very nice conversation with some software providers as, and uh, so I guess that uh, Chicago is actually be becoming a, a really cool space for innovation for uh, and professional activities. Um, how about a comment on faculty? How, how accepting have the faculty been to full-time students and international students and in general, how are the faculty at MEM? Yeah, one of the the interesting thing of the full time program is that uh, since we have most of the classes during the nights, uh, you have a part of the day to to spend in in other activities. And uh, faculty ha has been very receptive to receive us to involve us in some of the research uh, or sometimes in, in some other activities like uh, doing a teaching assistance. Uh, some grading, some getting involved in in their research and presentations. So they are very open, uh, and 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 I think this is uh, very unique of this program. Uh, professors are very open to to receive you and, and give you more opportunities to enhance the the experience. I think since uh, most of the main class is within or less fifty uh, or thirty students i think we see more interaction with the professors or and the faculties because um, since we are very small uh, we get more interaction and for that reason we uh, they reply us very promptly so the feedback is also very important but we get soon as possible and very easy access probably all the faculty knows who their student is because of the size, I think that w that makes something different from other classes, the big classes. Um, yeah, just to add something to what my friend said, uh, MEM is just like 110 to 98 students uh, in, in a typical year. So uh, in a way that you, everyone gets, to, gets a chance to know everyone else, uh, the teachers probably have a lot more time which they can probably spare for the students, um, both full time as well as the part time. And yes, um, being being uh, being take, taking classes in the evening does has an advantage and a slight disadvantage as well. Just works on how how fee, how good you feel during the evening classes or for the day ones. But that definitely does help us to seek our professors who are proactive and who are always more than willing and receptive to help you out for all your queries. And you, you can definitely spend more time with them during the day. Yeah. So. My last question is, what was your biggest concern before coming here, and what did you discover about that concern when you got here? One of the concerns, uh, at least for me, was uh, why to start a management program in engineering school. It was actually one of the doubts that I, that I had uh, uh, before coming. Um, but I guess that here I realized that th there's a big difference of uh, an engineering school that uh, start building from the things that you do, that uh, from the value creation, starting from products and service creation, to the management of these products and services, instead of a uh, management program uh, leaded by a management school, in which you start from something created and then developing the the things to to make it better. So. I guess that that I I found here uh, this big difference. Yeah, I, I think uh, as Mark just suggested, a lot of students have these uh, this this dogma conflict if they want to pick up an MEM versus an MBA, and I I had one of these concerns as well before I had to come. And I remember pretty much emailing back and forth once I had been admitted. Um, all those apprehensions just go off, and you just happen to be here. Um, in terms of learning opportunities and exposure there's no limit to what you can do depends on an individual how motivated you are and how pushing how, how, how much you want to push yourself to to learn more um, as well as to w understand the financial numbers the return on investment is pretty fast it's just a one-year program uh, the tuition is like a half of what you would probably end up paying in an MBA um, so it's, it's a pretty good program and I had these reservations as well but I, I, I got them all answered during my first year over at an MEM 
So the biggest concern for myself was also same as others. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing by quitting my job and doing something else, coming to this school? But um, I, I didn't want to look at myself like one or two years. I wanted to position myself in five or ten years later from today. And I thought that this, uh, like I said earlier, I think this can make my, myself different than not any other people. So that's why I chose this um, course. And I think so far um, the class has been great. So um, I'll see what happens in 10 years from now on. <laughs> I think there's, there's one thing that I want to um, tell is that um, I think before they come, they should know really what to do and what they want to do, uh, make a long-term career, career plan. Um, maybe there's something I, I might have lacked, even though I thought I did pretty good job on that. But I think uh, making more clear will uh, put you in the better position and, and go, going through the courses and going through whatever you are going to do. I think uh, soon, sooner is better always. So um, you have to be really considerate on uh, why are you doing and you know why this is valued. Take all three. All right. Yes. Thanks. Well, I appreciate it very much.